Where the hell is Carl Dynamite Dargan? For the people that don't know who Carl Dargan is, it's the protege of Brother Nazim Richardson. Brother Nazim Richardson is the former trainer of the great Bernard Hopkins and the great Sugar Shane Mosley. The reason I'm even making this video is because I was watching a video of the Boxing Voice. Uh, big shout out to Ness. Um, they were in the gym with Danny Garcia and uh, Angel Garcia. And in the video, you see Nazim Richardson in there. And then you see Carl Dargan in there. He still got them same corn rolls <laughs> from years ago. And it just got me to thinking, like, damn, like, where's Carl Dargan been? The last time Carl Dargan fought was January 2015. It was on ESPN. It was supposed to be his coming out party. Basically, he was working towards title contention and he took a unanimous decision loss against Tony Luis, um, who was, I think, was 18 and two at the time. And he was basically supposed to get a title shot after that fight. Um, that fight was at 135 pounds. Um, and after that, he has not been seen in the ring since then, uh, on a personal note, I, I seen him in Philly. He's from Philly. I seen him, uh, um, but you know, I ain't want to stop him and be like, Hey, when you jumping back in the ring, you know, um, and it was, uh, on city Avenue too, like in the parking lot. Um, and I, he was like right there and I just, I didn't say anything to him, you know, just, you know, let him breathe. So, you know, he was supposed to have been the guy that was supposed to have been one of the guys at 135. And pretty much after that Tony Luis loss, he just disappeared. And he's also um, known for being with the R&B singer Lil Mo. And, you know, he's just a talented fighter. He's just a talented fighter. You know, and it seems like you know, he's relatively a small guy. Like, he's not one of those guys that is going to weigh in at 135 and then come in at 155, 160. He's not one of those guys. He's a relatively small guy. So I knew even back then the fights he was getting into as he goes up in competition, he was going to be at a disadvantage in terms of weight. But it was just believed that he had enough skills to pay the bills despite the weight you know, uh, disparity when he gets up in the ranks. Um, but I would love to see Carl Dargan back in the ring. Um, I actually want to know if they're working on something, you know, to get him a fight. You know, I made a video about Anthony Peterson and how he was inactive and, you know, he should have been in the ring and he should be in a different place in his career. I feel the same way about Carl Dargan. Um, he is a tactician at 135, you know, kind of fights, uh, you know, he, he just fights like a pure boxer. You know, he, he's just a pure boxer and he got enough crack to keep you keep you off of him. But if you don't know who Carl Dargan is, definitely cue up some tape on YouTube and do your homework on Carl Dargan. You know, he's definitely nice with it. Um, far as I know, he hasn't retired or anything like that. So, you know, I'm wondering what they're doing with him. Uh, anybody see him, talk to him, find out if he got a fight lined up or anybody see brother Nazim Richardson, see if he got a fight lined up. I'm definitely reaching out to both of them because, uh, he was one of my favorite young fighters on the come up, um, and just disappeared, man. So, where the hell is Carl Dargan and wherever you at, man, schedule a fight, man, so we can see you back in the ring, man, get back in the mix. G5 Jeff TV, I appreciate y'all.